Okay guys, we are about to exit the terminal. We picked up our next load. This is gonna be a drop and hook going to Virginia. Let me get closer to the gate so we can exit the terminal and we'll go from there. Okay, we're just getting on the highway now. We have a little bit over 150 miles to drive. Toward Charlotte, Statesville. Alright, guys, let's keep on driving. We'll go from there. Alright, just giving you an update of our drive. We have uh, 130 miles to drive before we reached our destination. It's a lot of cars, but traffic is moving pretty good.
pictures of the way station there.
going guys we have about 40 miles to drive destination I'm gonna go ahead and pull on in check with my car drop this container and pick up my next load okay we just got on the highway we picked up our container we have 150 miles to drive before we hit the terminal let's keep on going and we'll go from there just updating the drive guys, we still have uh, 120 miles to drive. A little bit heavier traffic, but everything's moving pretty good. We hit a traffic. It looks like an accident. We have about 30 miles to go. Hopefully, we can pass this accident and keep on trucking. Guys, so traffic is not moving at all. I just pulled over and gonna rest the truck because it's not moving at all. So I'ma just I got I could either wait in traffic or I could pull over and wait. So I I, I think it's safer. I pull over. And I'm gonna wait. Once I see traffic moving, then I will try again. But right now, we have 25 miles to go, and GPS is telling me it's gonna be at least an hour and a half. And not to mention that we've been in traffic all this time already, so I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, guys. Traffic got a lot better. So we're back on it now. Driving to the terminal. It's 28 miles to the terminal. We should be there in a half an hour. Which before was an hour and a half.
not really sure what happened. I'm pretty sure it was an accident. Right here is the start of a bridge that has water on both sides, so there's not really another uh, way around it. So if there was an accident there, it pretty much shuts it down. Right now it's about to be seven. We should have been at the terminal by 5.15 p.m. And hopefully we're there by 7.30 p.m. But this is the kind of stuff that happens, guys. We got no control over it. I decided to pull over and park and wait. It's a lot better and less stress than trying to move in the lane that's not moving. the opportunity and thank my wife I don't give her enough credit um, today I was driving to Virginia it's about five hours and a half with no traffic and she always makes sure that I have extra lunch and drinks and stuff like that and it comes in handy guys because I've been on this traffic for over two hours stuck so definitely a big help and couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. Definitely a team, teamwork. Um, you know, she makes sure I got everything I need. She wakes up when I wake up. So can't thank you enough. So we'll continue our drive, guys. I don't see anything that I could show you on the side of the road or anything like that.
he left behind to know what it was. <laughs> we finally made it to the terminal. After two hour delay in traffic, guys, but that's just stuff that happens on the road. You gotta learn how to deal with that. Most important, we made it back safe. And guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.